Welcome to WQLN PBS Homeroom. My name is Miss Jeannie. I love to teach, I truly do. I am able to ignite that spark of learning in each of your minds, in English and in Spanish. Hola, bienvenidos a WQLN PBS Salon. Mi nombre es Jeannie. A mí me encanta señal a los nenes pequeños diferentes cosas. And in English and in Spanish. Today, we are going to go on an adventure. Do you like adventures? I like adventures. More specifically, we are going to talk about space. What is space? Well, space is a boundless, three-dimensional ex extent in which objects and events have related positions and directions. Hoy vamos a ir a un sitio y va a ser, vamos a hablar de espacio. ¿Qué es espacio? Bueno, well, espacio es algo um, en el cielo que um, obviamente son diferentes cosas que van en un evento que van en diferentes posiciones y direcciones. Space. Wouldn't you like to be in space? ¿A ti te gustaría ir en el espacio? I'm going to give you some vocabulary words so throughout the lesson you can hear it and then you can repeat it. Um, te voy a dar vocabulario. So, lo que yo te doy dando el lesson, tú puedes oír las diferentes palabras que yo voy a decir. Ok, la primera. The first one is space, espacio. La segunda, the second one, star, estrella. La tercera, the third one, planets planetas. La cuarta, sun, sol. Okay, so let's repeat it all together. Okay, so the first one is space, espacio. La segunda, the second one, stars, estrella. Ready to say that one again? Estrella, star. Okay, and the third one, La tercera, planets, planetas. La fourth one, la cuarto, sun, sol. Okay, so those are going to be your vocabulary words. There are only four. Esos, esos van a ser la cuatro vocabularios que vamos a decir durante el um, video. Okay? Space. El cielo. So, when you think of space, what do you think of? Cuando tú estás pensando en el cielo, ¿qué viene a la mente? Dime, tell me, tell me. You see the stars at night and the moon and in the morning you see the sun and there's also planets out in space en el cielo que tu ve en la noche la estrella la luna y en la mañana que tu ve el sol y en el cielo hay diferentes planetas también ¿Qué tamaño viene a la mente cuando tú piensas en el cielo? What size comes to mind when you think of outer space? Big or small? ¿Tú piensas en grande o en pequeño? There are planets in space. 
and some of the planets are big planets and some of them are small planets, just like the stars. Some stars are big stars and some stars are small stars. En el cielo, las planetas algunos son grandes y algunos son pequeños. Y la estrella también. Algunos son grandes y algunos son pequeños. How about color? What color comes to mind? Cuando tú piensas en color, en el cielo, ¿qué color viene de mente? Dime. ¿Qué es el color del el sol? What's the color of the sun? Yellow, a little bit of orange, a little bit of red. Un poquito de naranjado, un poquito de amarillo, un poquito de colorado. Yeah. What other things can you think of that are in um, space? ¿Qué otra cosa tú puedes empezar que está en el cielo? Lo voy a decir en inglés. Comets, meteors, and asteroids. Que eso están allá arriba. Um, asteroids are rocks, airless worlds that orbit the sun. Que va redondo del sol. Who do you think goes out in space? ¿Quién tú crees que Quiere ir para el cielo. Astronauta. Astronauts. They go out in space. They go exploring. Ellos van a ver las diferentes cosas que están allá en el cielo. Um, do you know how many planets there are? ¿Tú sabes cuántos planetas hay? Son nueve. There are nine planets. That's what you see behind me. These are the planets. Okay. Now we're going to go and we're going to say their names. Okay. Vamos a decir los nombres de las planetas. Que son Earth, Jupiter, Saturn, Venus, Mars, Pluto, Uranus, Neptune, and Mercury. Que son los nueve planetas, las nueve planetas que hay. And did you know that the sun is a star and not a planet? ¿Tú sabías que el sol es un estrella y no una planeta? Yo no sabía eso. Yo creía que era una planeta. I thought the sun was a planet. Um, and the sun is a hot ball. It's a big ball of growing gas. El sol es una pelota grande, caliente, y a caliente, de gas. Yo no sabía eso. I didn't know that, but it's good to know. I have some other stuff here, too, about stars. Fun fact. Stars are a huge ball of gas. I didn't know stars were gas. Yo no sabía que las estrellas eran gases. Stars make their own light. La estrella hacen su, su luz. The, their shine in the night sky. Ellos alumbre en la noche. They look small because they are so far away. La estrella se parecen bien chiquitita porque están bien lejos. Um, and the sun is the closest star to the earth. El sol es, es más cerca de la planeta Earth. Eso porque alguna vez se ve más grande. Um, and fun facts about the moon. Let's see. 
the moon at night is freezing cold. En la noche, la luna es bien frío, bien frío. La luna. In the daytime, the moon is very hot. En el día, la luna es bien caliente. It's very hot. So at night, the moon is very cold. And in the daytime, it's very hot. La luna en la noche es bien frío, bien frío. Y en la noche, a I mí mean, en la día, es bien caliente en el día. Whew. Let me see. Y no hay brisa en la luna. No hay viento que viene para acá y viene para acá. In the moon, there's no breeze. That comes this way and that way, this way and that way. Yeah, there's no breeze. Now, let's have fun facts about the sun. Ahora vamos a aprender del, del sol. It's hot. The sun is hot. El sol es bien caliente. Um, so tú no puedes mirar al, al sol porque te molesta los ojos. You can't look directly at the sun because it'll um, not burn your eyes, but it'll, like, you'll be blinking a lot because it's so bright. Um, the sun is the closest star to Earth. La, el sol es el, el más cerca de la planeta Earth y es una estrella. Y es una bola de gas. And it's just a big ball of gas that's really hot. Are you guys learning a lot about space? I am. Ustedes están aprendiendo mucho de el cielo. Yo sí, so, sí estoy aprendiendo mucho. Um, I'm going to teach you something that was taught to me when I was in grade school. Okay. Now, the easy way to learn the nine planets. Okay, are you ready for this? Now, you have Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, Neptune and Pluto. Now, you take those and you say this. My very eager mother just sent us nine pizzas. Yo te quiero decirlo en español, pero no, no sé cómo yo te digo. No se, se siente bien. So, es mejor que yo lo digo en inglés. Okay, well done. Okay, so that's what you say when you're trying to memorize the nine planets, all right? Okay, so now we are going to do an activity that I hope you guys will enjoy. So what you are going to need is these items. You're gonna need two empty bottles, scissors, cardboard, string, paper, you're going to need an orange, a yellow, and a red, and glue. Lo que tú vas a necesitar para esta actividad que vamos a hacer es dos botellas vacías, una tijera, papel duro, hilo, el papel, nata, el papel, el color natanajado, amarillo y rojo. Va a necesitar pega. And you can also use tissue paper. 
If you don't have paper, you can use tissue paper. Or you can use white paper and then just color it orange, yellow, and red. Tú también puedes usar um, de, te, de te clase de papel o papel blanco y pintarlo naranjado, amarillo y colorado, ¿ok? So lo que tú quieres hacer es you're going to take your empty bottles and you can paint them any color you want or you can take aluminum foil and you can wrap it okay i had painted my bottles yesterday lo que tú puedes coger es coger la botella y pintarlo y también tú puedes coger el papel de medio y volverlo okay so these are my bottles they're painted white ahora tú coge el papel duro you take your cardboard okay you want to have a nice little square okay tú quieres coger un triangulo okay en el papel duro so what you're gonna do is you're gonna poke a hole you can poke a hole with your scissors be very careful you might want to ask your parents for help. Ten cuidado. Tú vas a necesitar ayuda, so llama a tu mamá y tu papá para que te ayuden. So you can do it with a scissors and poke a little hole or get a hole puncher. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna poke, you're gonna do a hole. Okay, like this. Can you see that? And you're gonna need four holes. So lo que tú vas a hacer es, tú vas a hacer cuatro jotitos, ¿ok? So you're going to do the holes, not so close to the edge, no bien, bien cerca de la orilla, pero para adentro. Ok. It should look like this, with the four holes, ¿ok? In each end of the, each corner. En cada esquina tú lo vas a poner un joto en cada esquina, ok, como así, ahora coge tu hilo, now get your string, and you're going to put it through the hole, and make a knot, va a ser, tú vas a poner el hilo dentro del joto, y poner un nudo, para que no se salga, you're going to do a knot, so it doesn't come out. Puede poner dos, puede poner uno. You can do one knot or you can do two knots. And make sure it doesn't come out, okay? Um, Pújalo un poquito a ver si se sale. Si sale, tiene que poner otro nudo, okay? So there is mine. Now do the same thing on the other side, okay? Now this one might be too big. You have to make sure. You have to measure this on your child to make sure that they can wear it, kind of like as a backpack, okay? Tú lo tienes que medir a tu hijo o hija a ver si le sirve, que no es muy largo. And then, hacer el otro nudo, do another knot. Kind of cut it right here. There we go. See? So they can put their hands through it, like this. Cuando termine del nudo, mira a ver si le sirve. Ok, porque se van a ponerla como así. Ok? Ahora tú tienes que ser igual en el otro lado. Now you have to do the same thing on the other side. So make sure that you put your string through it, make a knot, ponlo por ahí, hace el otro nudo, a ver si se pone por ahí, déjame me ponerle otro nudo aquí. Let me put another knot on here, so it'll stay. Okay, now we gotta put it through the other side. 
Okay, make sure it's the same. You want to make sure that they're the same. Tiene que estar igual. Entonces pon otro nudo que tu hijo o tu hija va a ser tu modelo. Your child's going to be your model. So make sure that this fits them right. Okay, and there we go. And then if you want to, you can just cut the extra string so that way it's not dangling there. See, there you go. And let me put this to the other side. There you go. It should look something like this. Okay, so you can wear it. Well, I'm gonna do it frontwards so you can see if it fits them. See? It'll fit me fine right there. But it'll go towards the back. Ve que me sirve, pero va a ser detrás. Okay, now that you're done with that, ahora que tú estás terminado con eso, lo que tú vas a hacer es tú vas a dibujar un fuego. You're going to draw a flame onto your paper. Now, it, what you want to do is three different sizes. The red one big, not really big, but the red one big, then the orange one medium, and then the yellow one a little smaller. Lo que tú vas a hacer es poner el rojo grande, el natanajado un poquito pequeño, y el amarillo más pequeño, ¿ok? So, después que tú dibujas, lo va a cortar. After you draw your flames, you're going to cut it, ¿ok? And make sure you do two, because you have two bottles that you have to um, put the flames on. ¿ok? So, then, after you do that, you're going to... And if you need to cut a little bit more, go right ahead. And don't forget to glue them together. Okay, you have to glue your flames together. Let me see. I'm using tissue paper. If I can grab it. All right, tissue paper. And then you kind of want to measure it, make sure that they're not all the same. They're just different sizes, okay? And then you glue them. And then you put the yellow one right on top of the orange. So lo que tú vas a hacer, lo van a pegar el, el naranjado encima del rojo. Ok. Y lo van a pegar junto para que se quede ahí. So it might look like something like this. You know, little flames. And then you can fold the top a little bit. So they can look like this, okay? You do the same thing to the other one. Ahora tú vas a hacer igual en la otra. Déjame ver si lo puedo. Okay, míralo ahí. Okay, lo voy a poner ahí. And you're just gonna put it on here for your jet pack. So we can go into outer space. Lo va a poner aquí para que podamos ir al cielo. Y lo va a poner, oops, lo va a poner ahí. Aquí está el otro mío. Here's my other one. Then you can just fold it a little bit right there. See my little flames? Okay. So let me put this aside. So it's not in our way. Okay. So you might gonna need your parents' help for this one. Tu va necesitar la ayuda de tu padres. And then you're going to take the glue and you're going to glue your flames into your bottle. So it kind of looks like this. That flame's coming out of your bottle. Okay, so you're going to take your glue and you're going to glue the inside 
of your bottle. And then you're gonna stick your flame in there. Be very careful. So, see my flame? My flame is coming out of my bottle, okay? So now you do the exact same thing to the other one. Ve que el fuego te está saliendo de la botella. Ve, ahora tú tienes que ser igual en la otra. Okay. So let's see if we can do this. And you're just gonna stick the flame in there. Va a poner el fuego allá adentro. Y mira el otro. Ahora tengo dos con el fuego. Now I have two with the burning flame. Okay. So now you're going to take your cardboard. Tú vas a coger el cartón y va a pegar las dos botellas encima. So now you're going to take your two bottles and you're going to glue them on to your cardboard. All right. Let's see if I can do this. And then you take your glue and then you just glue it on to your cardboard. Entonces lo que tú vas a hacer es ponerle pega en la botella y ponerlo en la cartón. Okay? Y va a ser igual con el otro. Now you're going to do the same thing to the other one. You're going to put glue on your other one. Okay? And then you're going to put it in the cardboard. Y lo va a poner en el cartón. Okay, and then you can hold it down for a few minutes. Guántalo pa que se quede ahí, pa que no se caiga. Okay, then you just hold it. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five. Now in Spanish, ready? Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco. Okay, and then when you hold it up, there we go. There is your jet pack. See? Now your child can put this on and he can pretend he's an astronaut going out in space with his little jet pack and his little flames coming out. This turned out pretty cute. I like it. So then make sure that they try it on and if it's too big, then you can um, shorten the string, okay? To make sure that it fits them so they can wear it. And there you go, okay? There was a fun little activity. Now you can pretend that you're an astronaut going out in space and exploring. Ahora el hijo 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 o hijo tuya puede ser una astronauta a ver en el cielo y a ver diferentes cosas que hay en el cielo. Keep reading. Keep learning. Keep watching WQLN PBS where learning is brought to life. Sigue a leyendo y aprendiendo. Y ve a WQLN PBS para aprender muchas diferentes cosas.